Seven things you probably didn't know, you need to know. I'm Jamie East and this, this is the Smart 7. Good morning everyone, it's Friday the 17th of April and a big happy birthday to Victoria Beckham and Jennifer Garner. Oh and it's National Haiku Day. Here's our contribution. Smart 7 Daily. It's like a news espresso to enjoy early. Seven. The UK continues to battle coronavirus with the death toll now over 13,000. Speaking at the Daily Press conference yesterday, Dominic Raab said there are five criteria that will need to be met before restrictions can be lifted, including a sustained fall in the death rate and improved testing. He also announced at least three more weeks of lockdown, which takes us past the May bank holiday. The advice from SAGE is that relaxing any of the measures currently in place would risk damage to both public health and our economy. Patrick and Chris will be able to go into further details on all of this shortly. But based on this advice, which we very carefully considered, the government has decided that the current measures must remain in place for at least the next three weeks. Next to New York, where Governor Andrew Cuomo has announced that the city will continue to be shut down until May the 15th as they battle to keep the progress they've made on flattening the curve. Uh, I'd like to see that infection rate get down even more. The New York pause policies, the close down policies will be extended in coordination with other states to May 15th. Last night saw New York join together in a very New York way to sing along to New York, New York. That's a lot of New Yorks. Frank Sinatra was played across the radio stations and on Facebook choirs joined in to support the city. Goss has announced he's planning to be Prime Minister by the time he's 60. Yeah, it's 2020, folks. He shared some strong views during the much-talked-about Bross documentary last year. Remember when he went bonkers about conkers? And now you can't even play conkers in England. Can we start a petition in, in on a Bross, please? Can we start on can a, do how what? ridiculous it is that you've got, you can't play conkers, and if you do, you've got to wear goggles. That is the biggest problem. You can't play conkers in England. I can, I can live with it. I mean, it's a good policy. He's already 51, so so there's only nine years to wait, everyone. Four. As research continues into the coronavirus, there is increasing concern that gorillas and chimpanzees could be at risk. The similarities between monkey and human DNA mean that there are real risks of transmission. At an animal sanctuary in Uganda on the shores of Lake Victoria, vets are taking no chances. On a day-to-day basis, the chimpanzees are monitored. The caregivers are uh, given the basic skills in the veterinary care. Uh, then they monitor these chimps, and if there's anything that they notice that is an ab- abnormal in these chimps, then they are able to report to a veterinarian. And it's over to the sports desk. Thank you very much. Hello. Well, talk of sports. uh, Well, there's no actual sport, but maybe, just maybe, there could be a Tour de France. It traditionally ran across the summer and draws huge crowds along the roadsides and towns it passes through. Welshman Geraint Thomas and winner of the Tour de France spoke to Five Live about a possible date in September for the world-famous cycle race. The back end of September would be a little cooler than than mid-July, when it normally is. Which isn't a good, isn't a bad thing for me. Obviously, coming from Cardiff, I'm, uh, it's a bit cooler. That's always good. But um, I'm happy. I think you know, as long if it can go ahead, um, it's only going to go ahead if it's safe to do so. And I think it would be great for the sport, for the fans, for the teams, obviously, and us, the riders. It's nice to have a date as well in our heads now to to really focus and work towards. Remember when we used to go outside and maybe put on some aftershave or perfume? No, me neither. But new scientific research shows that humans are not the only mammal fond of an aroma. A study of lemurs from the University of Tokyo reveals that during the yearly breeding season, male lemurs rub the glands on their wrists against their fluffy tails and wave them at females in a behaviour called stink flirting. What is that delicious aroma? So familiar. Ooh, <laughs> 
Trust me, I've got teenagers in the house. I know all about stink flirting. Finally for this week, do we have time for one more sing-along? Yeah, I know. But last night, a host of stars, including the cast of High School Musical, Ariana Grande and Beyonce, joined together for the hashtag Disney sing-along. Here's Beyonce with When You Wish Upon a Star. And it's a good way to end the week. If your heart is in your dreams, no request is too extreme. Please be safe. Don't give up hope. We're going to get through this. I promise. God bless you. This has been the Smart 7. Stay safe, stay distant, and wash them blooming out. We're back Monday at 7. Like and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Tilly Steele. And I'm Helen Monk. And this is Bitchin'. I'm dyslexic. Yeah, why do you read the Wikipedia page? <laughs> it's good to practice. Yeah. A podcast where every week we talk about a different person. So how old was he when he first popped on the scene? That's a great If question. you say he was my age, I'm going <laughs> to die. And we veer wildly off track. Pop that Prosec. <laughs> Available on all your podcast apps. <laughs> That's not right. Uh, just <laughs> can you not say podcast. "er" in the advert? <laughs> Available on all your podcast platforms. Just search "bitchin" or "great big owl." We'll see you there. That was alright. <laughs> <laughs>